Hi there, and welcome to the ATS Podcast with me, Will Brown, and John Soulsby, where we break down chunks of health and fitness information into bite-sized pieces, remove a bunch of the noise, and just leave what's relevant. Uh, today we are on episode 21, and the topic for today is just ahead of the new year. Best way to start a new kind of habit or a new workout, training routine, diet, whatever it might be. Uh, but first, we are going to lead with the off-topic of non-fitness goals and plans for 2023 for the both of us. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, do you want to go first? You got? Um, I can maybe guess your one, but yeah, I was about to say. So, my <laughs> couple of non-fitness things I have going on. Um, this is always my problem. I like I want to do all the things, but I only have so much yeah. time. Like if someone would like nicely invent a pill, which means I could not sleep and have absolutely zero consequence, I would love that because it would mean I could pick up like another two fucking hobbies. Yeah. Um, I am. So one of the things I do in my free time is I paint. I say free time because I've turned it into a job now. So I have another job on the go because of course. Um, so uh, I paint, and one of the things is there's a rather large arguably the most competitive in the world uh painting competition happening in manchester uh when about is it again um the 29th of april march april yeah 29th of april to the first of march it's that like tail end weekend in april yeah and yeah your boys your boys entered so i gotta work towards that i probably should have started by now but i've had a bunch of other stuff going on so i have not yeah, you were and you doing probably a prey <laughs> yeah, I've also got a bunch of commissions to finish, either simultaneously or before I start. But I will be doing my best juggling act. Um, yeah, but that would have uh, been the one I would have guessed for you. That yeah, that's large. definitely my main one. I think uh, every time I, every any time I hang out with uh, the italian side of the family i'm always i always get the kind of slight itch to download something like duolingo and work on my italian and like really kind of get yeah. back into the heritage so that might come a cropper next year who knows although i just recently started um trying to do duolingo for french because um uh-huh. i was going to go to france next year or i am um and like i got so frustrated i mean you might be different for doing it for italian because you're wanting to like learn the language overall a bit better mm. but i was like trying to do french and i'm like the main reason is because i'm traveling there so i want to be able to like travel there and speak french not just yep. be a classic brit and go there and be like just speaking english um and the first half of what i was learning was like i was it was getting me to like know how to ask if someone was a cat like no joke that was the <laughs> second <laughs> and i'm like but I don't know how to like Duolingo trying to start fighting bars asking if someone's a pussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I want to know how like it's gonna to get you order booted out dinner. It's gonna get you booted out the chalet in quick order. Yeah. That's funny, man. Yeah, I have no idea. I might uh, again. I, I don't know why I keep seeing people on Duolingo, but from like all, a lot of other people I've heard who do language stuff is are just like, nah, it's a bit whack. I wouldn't use it. I'm like, all right, yeah. fair. It's just, I think it definitely used to be good, but I don't know if they've changed up the way they do it or something, but yeah. But jeez. The, um... So, I don't actually have any other non-fitness related plans, do you? Um, no, I'm incredibly boring at the moment, and all my hobbies and things I do are arguably fitness related. Yeah, I mean, same. Cycling and lifting weights, so... The only one that's close that we could say is not fitness related in would be the fitness industry. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, I want to get good enough to do a race in mountain biking. Whatever race that might end up being. Nice. Surely it's a lot easier than road because it's all downhill. Yeah, but like... The pedaling is a lot tre- less, but the, cra- the crashing anyway. is a lot higher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Getting like good enough and... F- Fair enough. So, like, Enduro is the one that I quite like the idea of. And essentially, like, it's like a rally race, but on a mountain bike. So you have, like, different stages you do. 
but you have to have a time cap to get in between the different stages as well. Oh, okay. That's the time cap, okay. I think, is usually very generous. Mm -hmm. um, but you kind of have to not be so gassed once you get there that you can then get downhill afterwards. Um, so, yeah, probably do one of them. Uh, so kind of fitness related, but not in the same kind of zone as lifting weights and stuff. But yeah, that sounds pretty fun. I think the only other thing, again, my only other thing I'm kind of looking to do next year, and again involves painting, is essentially saving up a bunch of my, my schmeckles and going over to Germany to go work with a, a painting coach who I follow over on Insta. And it's just like, uh, instead of being like a class, it's literally just like you go go have like one-to-one -one sessions in the studio for the entire day for a weekend so you get like 24 hours almost of painting done in a weekend and i'm like sounds great mate that would be absolutely sick that would be rowdy if i can get it done um i'm probably gonna be depending on how well talker does and if there's any kind of internationals on the cards that we might end up going to i'll probably go there probably gonna go down to british that's again fitness related though because we've got a bunch of clients going to british there's a big yeah. scottish contingent going to british women's actually it's gonna be rowdy that'd be class that'd be really good um, right, so, onto the actual topic, which is the best way to start a new habit, uh, but we're gonna try, uh, we'll try, we'll start without, um, we'll start off topic, so we'll start, like, see if we can keep it broad in terms of things that would apply across the board, cause, um, I suppose there well, are specific, there are specific things that pertain to, like, exercise in the gym and stuff, but, like, for the most part, it's all the same kind of stuff of like how to start yeah i'd say like number well not number one but like just start like it sounds so <laughs> stupid but like it, it's definitely been a thing i've like had an issue with of like it and this isn't even like a habit or anything just anything you want to do i always like have spent ages being like what well, i need to make sure it's like the perfect time and it will be perfect when i start mm-hmm mm -hmm. And then, like, two years later, you're like, well, haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah. like, just imperfect action beats perfect inaction or whatever the mantra is. But, like, yep. just doing something of what you want to achieve once a month is better than not even starting. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, that's, like, the most basic, easiest thing of just, like, yeah, just do it. Which sounds stupid and, like, overly simplified but at some point it's like yeah just go and do it find out like whatever it is find a place to do it or if it's in your house a time to do it once a week and then off you go the uh <clears throat> i very much agree the trying to find th this is where it gets specific to whatever you want to do but trying to find the minimum like the lo the lowest bar possible to like trip over and doing that uh like i don't know if this more falls into the idea of like procrastination but like if i if i think i don't have time to paint in a day i will quite often not even sit down at my desk i will literally pick up whatever it is on my desk put like one brush load of paint on it in some fashion and i just put it back down and, and go do something else like go go on with whatever it is but it like keeps the habit like it keeps it going the kind of like for the start thing you just need to find i think finding like intro classes bringing a friend or jumping in with a friend always helps as in like if you have a friend or someone you know that does this thing that you want to start participating in if it's working out they go to the gym already you don't even have to go, like, don't feel like you need to pester them to be like, oh, teach me, like, show me the things. If you're worried about that, you can just ask if you can both go together so that you have a reason to show up. Like, if you're like, can we meet here and then go to the gym, like, meet outside the gym at a coffee shop or something and then go to the gym, and then you both just go your own separate ways and do your own little workouts. That's still going to work way better than you trying to go by yourself because you'll show up because you'll be like oh my friend's gonna think i'm a dickhead if i cancel all the time um and so you just show up and meet with them for a coffee and then just you know it turns into a gym session and kind of tricking yourself you'll bait and switch yeah totally agree um just having like 
Yeah, you'll almost be so embarrassed by cancelling that you'll have to go. <laughs> yeah, I've got a few people who are PT clients who essentially are like, "This is why. This is why I pay for it. Like, I know you're going to be here, and so yeah. I show up because otherwise, otherwise, I have to text you." It's some kind of excuse as to why I'm not coming and that's way more cringy and I hate doing that a lot more than I hate doing this workout. I'm like, cool. Whatever gets oh, yeah, you like, whatever gets you the, here, bud. That, that's like one part of PT is just the pure accountability of like it's quite hard to tell a professional that you're paying for their time that you can't be arsed turning up. Yeah. Because funnily like, enough, that's you're, it. you're, you're that's paying it. for it. Like Yeah. The um But yeah, just starting trying just trying a bunch of different stuff as well try a bunch of classes try a bunch of different little sports like see what you got like i have quite a few friends who are quite into rock climbing again super cool um i quite enjoy it again i go bouldering when the weather's a bit better because climbing gyms are second only to garage gyms and how cold they get because again they are even worse because they're massive spaces to fit all those giant climbing walls so screw heating those um, oh, yeah. Also, you can't really moan given that the actual sport of climbing occurs outside, so you can't really complain that inside is too cold. Um, but yeah, like it's trying a bunch of different stuff. A couple of people I know tried it out just for like they went with their pals, tried it just to you know see how it was, and are now like months in and really loving it. see if um again a lot of places in the new year will have like trial time like trial dates like try before you buy type stuff just go along and try a bunch of different stuff and see which one you like the best or hate the least i mean the, the thing with working out and stuff is as much as it is a thing of find the one you enjoy the most it kind of is like if you are one of these people who's just who are just going to view it as like essentially like the dentist and you're just never going to enjoy it as much as you well like as much as you enjoy other things just pick the one that you dislike the least like <laughs> pick the one that is most tolerable because realistically if you don't go and you don't get some form of exercise in it's a detriment quite obviously and plainly it's not good for you <laughs> yes yeah, totally i think the, i definitely have one or two that again the reason that we are paid in that fashion is because the style of exercise we do in our gym is the thing they hate the least exercise wise and that means they turn up yep like it's so definitely try and find someone social media can be quite good because you can like get a wee idea of like the kind of thing they get up to and the kind of people they are and find someone that you like and think you might get on with and it's getting up and they'll be if they're not more than happy to t chat to you that's uh well they've fallen at the first hurdle and you move on yeah, pretty much. Um, even just finding people you think you would have a laugh with and get on with, just so that when you show up and you're miserable in training and not liking it, you can at least have a laugh. Yep. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, you don't have to. This is, this, is, this is like a hard line. You don't have to enjoy working out, but you should still do it. <laughs> like, yes. I don't like doing my tax returns or going to the dentist. However, I still do them because the consequences of not doing them, I dislike more. <laughs> And it is very much a case of, like, <laughs> you know, finding the most tolerable way of doing things. Like, finding, like, I mean, HMRC updating the tax returns and stuff and making it a lot easier to do. Amazing. Great. Getting rid of the, like, meaning that you can reset your password just with an email, like every other website in the history of ever, rather than needing a posted snail mail letter with a code that expires in half the time it took for the letter to get to you. Great. <laughs> yeah. dentists another great example you need to go it's super important otherwise if you don't you'll end up absolute root canal central so finding one that you get on with that are friendly have a nice place you know all that decent crack great same deal find somewhere where you can exercise with either a pt or a group of people who you pretty much get on with or are tolerable and just are like, cool, this is so far the best option I found, and I will participate because it is grossly beneficial for my long term health, both physically and mentally. Yeah. And yeah, just have a look, see what you can do. That's probably like one of the better ways to get going. 
And again, you don't have to wait till the new year. It can help. Like, I'm not against New Year's resolutions. I think it's great. Loads of people probably start really good things just off the back of a New Year's resolution. Keep it going. I know it's a bit of a meme, but, like, I think it works for more people than it doesn't work for, so. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, and even if it gets some people, like, starting what they want to do, it's grand. Yeah. Um, I think if it helps more than zero people, it's a good thing. <clears throat> yeah. Uh... And yeah, if you need, like, if you're ever in the fitness space, if you want help, like, on things you could do to start, um, I would say reach out to, what, well, either us, you're listening to our podcast, you might actually want to reach out to us, um, or, like, someone else you also, like, follow or listen to, and they should happily be more than happy to have a chat with you or send you some links to stuff they've already written or podcasts they've done, that sort of thing. Yeah, 100%. And on that note, that is us pretty much coming in on time. So we will catch you in the next episode. Yeah, catch you then.